What's good, YouTube? Nobody here. Welcome to episode three of the Survival Guide. In the last episode, we started setting up the production stuff here, and we are running into the point to where we're going to have to start worrying about getting more resources. So in this episode, I'm going to go ahead and set up a system in order to start drilling down into the ground and getting rock at a very, very fast rate. That way we can get all the resources that we want as quickly as we want. Let me get rid of this here. I don't really need that. I had that there just for other uses. And basically what we're going to have to do is we're going to need some sort of storage container. We are going to need some sort of drilling platform. So I'm going to start a drilling platform that basically drills its way into opening up for more drills. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a moment. But the first thing we're going to do here is we need to go ahead and look into possibly upgrading our tools because our tools aren't the greatest here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into production here under blueprints and click on the tools button here and see what upgraded tools we can do. We can do an enhanced welder, an enhanced drill, and an enhanced grinder here. But we already have an enhanced grinder that we got in the last episode. So what I'm going to do is just make one of the other pieces. So an enhanced drill and an enhanced welder. Hopefully we have, yeah, we have enough materials for all of that. And we have everything cut off here, I believe. Okay, we've got the assembler cut on. We have the basic refinery cut off and we have one battery. So we should be good and that should build what we're looking for but it says inventory is full so but let's go ahead and since we're going to be building today we're going to go ahead and grab just to open up some space we're going to grab all these steel plates out of the inventory here there we go and the power cells as well we're going to go ahead and start working on that second battery while we're at it Whoop. trying not to fall here now, these batteries take a while. Like I said, the power cells are pretty heavy. So if you're going to be building those, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and leave it close by somewhere that you can access here. It'll speed up the process quite a bit. I'm, they're pretty heavy too. That's what's actually filling up our inventory, which is why I'm getting rid of them real quick. All right, so I got all of those in there. It is now time to start thinking about how we're going to set the system up. We're going to need some sort of storage for the stone because we're going to be pulling stone in really, really quickly. We're going to need some drills and we're going to need a bunch of conveyors and some pistons as well. So we're going to go ahead and start laying some stuff out. I'm going to need for that. I'm going to definitely need to make some interior plates because a couple of the things that we need to make today need the interior plates it's a good idea to carry around some interior plates and some steel plates with you at all times by the way just so you know that way you've always got what you need to start whatever it is that you want to build and some construction components as well some things like lights and things like that require construction components to start Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to need at least one large cargo container here. So we're going to temporarily place us a cargo container, but we can't really place it here, but we can place it here. That's probably the best bet for us is we want to place it somewhere close by our setup here that we've already got. But let me go to character tools here and fix this real quick. But we don't want to block anything off and stuff like that so i'm just going to put it one block away that way i can put a conveyor in between which means that we're going to have to create something here so let me see what we need to make okay so we actually in order to unlock the conveyors we actually need to finish up the cargo containers so I recommend if you can get away with it using a small cargo container, they're a lot easier to build. But if you're looking to build quickly, sometimes it's a good idea just to go ahead and queue up this. 
as quickly as you can because you're going to run out of storage pretty quickly with small cargo containers. Okay, I'm now to the point to where I can just let this run for a little while. I'm going to need the items that we have queued up, like all of them. So I'm going to go ahead and just let this run through and try to make... If I need more stone or whatever, I will go grab it, but I'm just going to basically finish queuing or finish all the stuff that I've got queued up. Okay, so we are short on iron at the moment, so I'm going to show you a trick to get more iron quicker. If you absolutely need to get iron early game like this, it's probably quicker to grab solid iron instead of just using the stone now we're gonna be setting it up to where we don't really need to worry about iron nickel or silicon at all so we won't have to go farm that by hand but we still need to at the moment so i'm just going to come down to this iron deposit here these rocks give you pure iron versus the little bit of iron that you get out of stone so you're better off early game like this to go ahead and make sure that you're getting as much of this as you can. The only thing is you need an actual refinery of some sort in order to use it. So the survival kit only does stone where the refineries, the basic refinery and the regular refinery will actually refine ores. So that's when you want to switch over to picking it up like this. It's a lot more reliable for your iron production here and another thing about the iron ore is it actually refines much quicker into what you're looking for so the iron here that'll be more than what we need for the iron okay so we are almost done here we've only got a couple more motors to make and we will be good to go I just need to wait for those to finish up. There we go. That's enough. And one more interior plate and it'll be completely fixed up. So let's go ahead and make that because apparently we used one of the ones that we had queued up. There we go. Now that we've gotten this done, we can go ahead and start dumping whatever excess we have in there. So the easiest way to do this is to make conveyors, which we just unlock. So I'm just going to make conveyor junction here. The one with the plus is the one that you'll want because then you can just mouse up and down or mouse wheel up and down to select which specific one you want. Now we need a bunch of these. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come through I don't believe the basic refinery has the ability to queue up specific things. Or the uh, basic assembler does. No, it doesn't. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go on and grab these. Let's see. We need interior plates to make this. So let's go ahead and create about 30 more interior plates. All right. So now we have what we need for that. Now, the thing about this is I would normally place these to look better than what I did right there with just the conveyor junctions. But we need as many open conveyor spots as we can for what we're going to be doing in the future. So that's why I went on and used the junctions because you can connect to those from any direction you want to. Now the directional ones look a lot better, don't get me wrong. But in this case, we're just going to need the openings for them so we can connect to them other places. So now that we've gotten that done, we are going to need to go ahead and queue this stuff up. So the easiest way to do this is going to be right clicking on the conveyor junctions here, bringing up our G menu and canceling the large cargo container. For some reason that does not always update. I'm not sure if they'll be fixing that in the future. So hopefully if you're watching this video later down the line, hopefully they've already got that fixed. But we're going to shift middle click as well here to go on and put everything into production. And it's also time to move that seat that we had. So let's go ahead and put a new seat down. Because we are running low on energy here. Now I'm just going to bring this up to functional at the moment. Because these seats are completely temporary. Okay, so that's done. And we're going to 
make sure we've got everything queued up. Yes, we do. And did we already queue this up? Yes, we do. Okay, so all we're waiting on now is the iron to be made, which we have the iron made. It just hasn't pulled it into the assembler here. So we should be good on this. So I'm just going to middle click here and I'm going to start on the one up top here because what's going to happen is it's going to block everything off when you create it and it's going to be hard to get impossible to get stuff out of here. So just think about that while you're building too. I want to make sure I have everything that I need for this when I start upgrading it. So I'm just middle clicking to pull things out. And one thing I did want to talk about too is it was brought to my attention that the Xbox release just came out. So there's going to be a lot of new players. If you're here from the Xbox release, just um, know that this is for both Xbox and PC, which is the thing is, I don't think you can have mods on Xbox. And if you can, it'll be separate from the mods that are in on PC. But there shouldn't be any changes other than simple controls and stuff for the Xbox controller. But other than that, everything should be the same. So all of this information should work for you. I'm specifically not using mods or scripts just because this is a beginner's guide. And if you want to see some stuff for mods or scripts, I've got other playlists that you can watch as well. But let's go ahead and get this started. So now that we've gotten that done, I'm going to need a way over to the spot that I want to drill. So I want to drill somewhere around here. So I'm just going to sit here and make sure I'm in the center. I believe that is the center. One, two, three, four, five. So three in, yes, that is the center. And go ahead and get a drill in, or a couple drills. So let's go ahead and do drills here. Now what I'm doing is I'm using these drills I'm going to place them and pull them up. You notice how we can't place this drill here because there's stuff in the way right here. So what we're going to do, once we get rid of this first little spot here, we're not going to have to worry about this anymore once we get this set up. Because the way I'm going to build this is the drills are basically going to keep opening up spots for more and more drills. And we're going to end up hiding this whole thing the way I want to run it. So. This will be a pretty interesting project, actually. Let me see, what are we missing here? Drills are a little bit hard to see what's going on with. So if you go into sp our second person mode here, or third person mode here, then you can basically get it placed and then, ah, uh, that didn't work. Yeah, so it's going to be really hard to see what's going on unless you just get the right angle here. Let me hit tab just to see. Okay, so it looks like I need to open this area up a little bit better and maybe this area here. Any rock whatsoever in the path of the drill will keep you from being able to place it, which is kind of weird considering it drills rock, right? It's very, very picky on placement. All right, there we go. So now that that one's done, I can place another one right beside it. And I could not place another one here. But we're just going to go on and get... Ooh, I almost forgot. We are going to need something here. So we're going to change this up a little bit here. Pre-planning is always your best bet, and I did not do enough of that. Sorry about that. Let me go ahead and grab my conveyor again. So what we want to do is we want to move this up a little bit because we're going to have to use pistons to push downward with this, which will save you from having to do what I just did as well. So that's actually a good thing. If you go higher here, just make sure you've got enough clearance for what you want to do. We're just going to go all the way up here and then... Spin this around, and one more, I believe. Yeah, one more, and then go down. This gives us a little more room to work with, and then we can just place a piston here. These things are wonderful. However, they can cause some major problems in multiplayer if you're not very, very, very careful with them. 
they create what's called clang. Clang is not your friend. And then we're going to go ahead and place drills here. I have a very specific way that I want to do this. That's why I'm adding as many drills as I am right now. We're going to hide this entire thing away. And we're going to use these drills to start with to do it. See, I'm going to need a th two by three should work just fine for what I want to do. So that should be enough room opened up. Yes. Now be careful here because these can rub together. In fact, I think those are going to rub together. So I'm just going to have to go on and clear that out. This will cause clang, which will cause explosions, which are bad, bad, bad things. To be sure, there's going to be some clang happening in this playthrough. So I, I'll end up being able to show you what's going on with that. All right, so we're just going to open this up to... I'm just going to go higher this time and just make sure everything's good. That's one of the things I like about this game is a lot of times you have to really think things through. See, let's go ahead and queue up a bunch of these. So I need to go ahead and add conveyor to my build planner. And then if you hold down shift and control and then middle click, it'll queue up 10 of them. Notice how we've gotten a bunch of them queued up here. So this is good. We're gonna end up needing a lot of these anyway. So it's a good idea to go on and queue up a bunch to start with. Looks like we're probably gonna be short on iron, which is fine because we're not gonna need all of these. So I'm going to go ahead and grab up what I need for some of this and I'm going to need more fuel here. So let me grab some jetpack fuel. All right. Also, I recommend if you have the extra uh, inventory space to go ahead and build some extra bottles as well sometime early game. Not necessarily now, but just as soon as you have the materials up for it. Let's see. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go a little bit lower if we want to meet what I want to do here with our pistons. So that should be good. Now notice I'm placing all of this stuff before I upgrade it. That way I'm absolutely certain that it's going to be whoop, out of the way and usable let me go ahead and pick this up okay so that'll be plenty right there that's exactly enough for what i want to do so what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and upgrade all of this stuff and get it running so i will be back with you once i get this built okay so now that i've gotten a few of these built i am actually rotating which ones i keep built and Picking up stone along the way, basically just rotating in and out, grinding them down, uh, moving them around on the area, wherever they're getting stuck or whatever, in order to pick up more stone. That way we can build this stuff faster because I, we need so much um, iron. It's not even funny. Like we still need about 7,000 iron right now as it sits so i'm just basically building everything that i can and then moving on from there getting these as built up as possible and basically i am lowering the piston while doing this and as you see the pistons extended pretty decently so far let me show you how to do that real quick in case you don't know Basically, all I do is go in here and make sure the block is toggled on. I think it defaults to on, if I remember correctly. Uh, you'll want to click share inertial tensor on all of your drills until you get used to when and when or when to use them and when not to. Basically, that just makes all your pistons act as a single thing. Um, it's very, very useful. Now, I set the velocity by control clicking here on the value and set to 0.1 meters per second. That's pretty important. You don't want to slam the pistons 
Uh, it starts at po negative 0 0.05. I just set it to 0 0.01. And the maximum distance is 10. And that should be about all you have to worry about on those. So what I'm doing is I'm just I'm making sure that all of these are turned on as I go. And as they get blocked up, you see these two right here, they're not really being blocked by anything. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab all the parts out of here and put them in here. Let that one work because it is blocked up. And do the same thing right here. Grab all the parts out of this one. Notice I'm not completely grinding them down though. And letting it do its work. Doing the same thing here. Trying to get as many of them operational at any given time as I possibly can. Sooner or later, you'll basically work your way into what you need to make here. This just saves me from having to go get all that uh, iron by hand because that's a lot of iron. Now, if you've got a really close iron deposit, then absolutely go after it. It'll probably be a little faster than this, but unfortunately, I do not have one close by. I'm about three kilometers away from my closest iron deposit. Okay, so we've maxed out the distance of the piston here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and reverse the piston. So just go into the control panel for the piston. You can either click on or hit F on the little control panel there, or you can just go through any way you need to get there. But I'm just going to hit the reverse button here, and it's going to pick the piston up. And when it does that, then I'm going to actually... get rid of all these drills and add another piston on top of it so we can go further we'll actually pick some stuff up along the way that's pretty good now the thing is we're struggling right this second but as soon as we get all nine of these built we will never have to worry about iron we'll never have to worry about nickel or about silicon any further which we're pretty close to it now. In fact, we should pretty much be done. Let me look. Okay, we're still picking up some stone. That's good. Yeah, we're getting really close there as it is. We only need about 6,000 more iron. Which we may be able to work in now. Especially once we get this piston thing fixed up. Alright, so now that that's done, I'm going to just start grinding all this down. And we're probably going to drop some... Stone here. That we've already picked up somewhere. The thing is, I'm making sure that I save this middle one for last. There's a reason for that. Because that's what I'm dumping my stuff into as I pick it up. So in order to dump all this, I'm just alt-middle clicking what I've already picked up into the drill here. So the cool part about it is as the stone falls, these drills that we have made, which I'm going to use keep the ones that we've got working so far will pick up the stone. Now, it will not pick up the components. It'll just pick up the stone that falls. So be very wary of that. Energy low. All right. So the thing is, these do not hold a regular inventory, they only hold stone. So if you alt middle click into there, it's automatically going to put it somewhere else for you. Let me grab some energy real quick before I take this one down and add another piston. And while I'm at it, I'm going to make sure all the stone gets in here. We may have enough stone to basically finish off what we want to do here. 
In fact, I know we do. I'm going to do something slightly different than what we did last time for this round. I'm going to drill basically a pilot hole in order to get all the stone that we need. So I'm going to take this one off. And be careful when you're flying around these drills too because you absolutely will hurt yourself. While they're running. Okay, so we're going to put another piston down here. We're going to pick up what we need. So that means I'm going to need for pistons, I believe it's steel plate. Yes, it is steel plate. I'm just going to grab a couple steel plate here. And we're going to place this piston. And all I'm going to do this time is I'm going to put a drill on the end of it. And we're going to queue these two up after getting rid of all of this. Okay, that's done, and we can drill this pilot hole. We can drill this pilot hole I was talking about now. So what this is going to do is probably pick up enough stone by extending both of these pistons to their fullest extent. Probably pick up enough stone to finish off our queue and build everything that we need to do. So let's go ahead and set this at point one. And we need to set this one at point one as well. Point two is perfectly safe for the speed. And we need to make sure that our stone gets queued up here to be the first thing to get refined. There we go. So this should be enough stone to get everything or to do everything we need to. Hopefully. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drill this pilot hole deep enough to where we can expand this inside. We're going to do that over the next couple episodes. I'm just going to get this one finished on this one. So if you're doing this, you may be smarter off just building a couple pistons to start with and then drill your pilot hole just like we're doing here to get all the stone that you need for everything and then expand. That's the smarter way to do this. Oh yes, we've got 136,000 stone here, so we're definitely going to be set for a while. I'm going to leave this episode here, and in the next episode we'll get started on the rest of that stuff that we were just talking about. And I'm going to let all this stone process in the meantime. Thank you for watching the video all the way through. How about dropping a like to let me know that you did. Also, think about helping us reach our goal of 2,000 subscribers. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, click one of the two videos on your screen now. Thank you. Have a nice day.